<clears throat> What's happening to everybody? Take these off. Woo! Bugging it, bro. Uh, okay. So, first of all, before we do anything on this video, I want to give all honor and all glory and praise to God for living, uh, for, for giving me another day that wasn't promised and not only me, my sons, my family, my friends, and even my enemies. Man, today, rolling in the car, listening to the 116 click, and uh, just dropped in me. It was like, man, you know what? Men, it's time for us to man up. Man up, I mean, like, okay, first of all, let's apologize to the women for the way that we treated them, you know, the way that we have treated them all of these years. And I'm saying that not just for myself, but for every man that has ever wronged a woman and done something hurtful where we messed something up. And then, you know, even either we didn't try to fix it or we kept on lying about something that we was doing. Basically, just apologize to the women. Let's make it worldwide known, please, if you want to share the video. But let's, man, every day, let's just be thankful that a woman brought us into this world and gave us life. You know, God granted us to have that mother, that sister, that, you know, auntie, that grandmother, great grandmother, whatever it is. Be thankful, man. And go, today I challenge you all to go give your mother a hug if she's still living, your sister a hug, whoever it is, if they're still living. And uh, just a woman. Even if it's a girlfriend, whatever it is, and just give them a big, passionate hug and tell them thank you for bringing life into this world. With that being said, man, it's time for us to just man up, man. It's time to take back what's rightfully ours. We got to be the priest of our homes. You don't have to be no gangbanger. You ain't got to be no uh, 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 basketball player, no football player, uh the list goes on the things that you don't have to be but you don't have to be nothing negative man when you make it in life even if you want to be a basketball player I'm not saying those things are negative but whatever it is that you want to do make sure you're giving all honor and glory to God while you're on your platform because you got there by your talent but you got there because God allowed you to get there it's a choice that you made and you asked God for something that you wanted to do, hey, thank God for it. And man up about it, man. Don't be ashamed to talk about God. Don't be ashamed to say, thank you, Father, when you're there. You know, don't be ashamed to just say, God, I love you, and I praise you, and I give you all honor and glory. Don't be ashamed. Be unashamed. Whatever it is that you're going to do. Man, again, it's not very many, many of us here, and we dying off like by the dozens. Man, snatch up your kids, snatch them up real quick, and do something that you never heard of, man. Go be a father. You know what I'm saying? Go be something that we didn't have growing up. Go be that. And do something right by your kids. Do, do right by your kids. Do right by their mothers, even if y'all don't even work out, like even if y'all ain't together, still do right by them. Even for the men that haven't had kids and that you've been in someone else's life and you've been in their kids' lives, man, just go and be a father, man. Do you know how impactful the world would be when we just, not if, but when we take what's rightfully ours and do what we're supposed to be doing, which is taking care of of our children, of the women, of the mothers. When we do that, man, you'll see a major shift in the atmosphere. You'll see a major change in a child's life. You'll see a major change in the mother's eye. You'll see a change inside your heart. And it'll just, I don't, man, I'm telling you, this is the best job that I've ever had. They asked me that at an interview today. I was like, what's the best job you ever had? I said, being a father. Why? Because there's nothing like it. Like you get to actually do 
something that you always wanted as a child. And you get to do that for for kids that's yours, kids that's not yours. You get to do something amazing. For me, that's just me. I don't know about y'all, but that's how I feel. Like, this is a full-time job, but I enjoy it. Like, it ain't for play play. This is this is who I am. I am a father. And not just a father, I'm a father to many. Even the ones that are not biologically mine. I'm a father figure to them. And it's amazing. Like, that's the best job that I've ever and I'm ever gonna have. And I'm gonna keep on doing it. But I challenge you men today to literally go and hug your kids, go love on them, make a call if they're not there, give them, you know, whatever you got to do. It ain't always got to be about gifts. It ain't always got to be about what you spend on them. It's about spending time with them. Time is of the essence. You know, quality time is the best thing going when it comes to uh, parents being inside your children's lives. So, again, I challenge you men to man up. And thank God for the women doing what they do because they've been doing this for years by themselves. Thank them. Hey, man, I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge.